All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to game number two here in this best of three series between Orange Esports and TT Esports. You guys are currently enjoying some Zyori Meander casting as we're moving into game number two of the Grand Pooba Grand Finals here, the last day of season one for the Grand Pooba. Sad times, but season two should be uh, quite titillating as well. So. I'm very excited. Game 1 was quite enthralling as well. 55 minutes of pure Heroes of New Earth joy. Mr. Moon Meander, how you feeling here coming into game number 2? Ah, uh, awesome. I mean, like, Green uh, TDC for it, man. Looking really strong of lower pinks, especially uh, WTF, one of the main concerns in playing his international hunt. He has crap internet, so he's underperforms in international hunt. And now I'm starting to see his potential in Arena Hunt so strong. Mm -hmm. This makes me like fear him when the next stream hack comes and then he has no lag whatsoever. Man, that guy's one one skilled player to be feared. Yeah, I, I mean, if land. anything, last game serves as pretty strong evidence to that. That was um, some very impressive silhouette play. I don't know, where did he learn that silhouette? Has he been uh, taking lessons from, from Moon? I know you're a, quite the silhouette player as well. I don't know. Uh, nah. You've been handing uh, out your tricks. I would say he still was uh, pretty pretty good. Maybe he's getting smart, but uh, <laughs> no, not to, be, not to be cocky or anything. But he's freaking good as silhouette, man. Now that I see, I might switch up a couple of things. Now that I watch this silhouette, the way he rotates and stuff like that, it's pretty sick. Yeah, to be honest. Absolutely. So bands complete. Let's go ahead and take a look. Electrician, Polywald, Priest, Jeraziah, Tempest, Tundra, Mage, Bane. Dark Lady and Armadon. So a couple of hard carry bands coming out, but any any thoughts about uh, the bands here? Two hard carry bands. Pebbles stick. They, they give pebbles to RNG sports on purpose. No way sticks to give up pebbles for like oh let's give up pebbles for fun because I feel like losing. Mm -hmm. They're gonna pick up more access in return for sure, and probably bubbles more access or bubbles and Luna. They make. Rebels I mean, uh, no, 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 bubbles, bubbles more access. Bubbles more access. May go for Ophelia, but Ophelia's value goes mm -hmm. down when Glacius is on the board. They're thinking about it for sure, but they have to pick up more access, I think. Yeah. I, I mean, they, they showed how important more access is last game, especially that one fight where we really got to see clearly what Maraxxus' ult is made out of, and uh, it seems to just be the immovable object when he's getting focused down. We'll see. A lot of options here. Slicks is clearly putting a lot of thought into this. but uh, They might just make Philia more access. Yeah, it's a little scary though, regardless of what they pick here. I don't think they're going to pick up an Amphora, so that does leave an Amphora. Oh, they're going to pick Silhouette of Philia? They're going to they're gonna just bet the money that Orange Esports is not going to pick more access because they already have Pebbles. Uh -huh. But right. we TDM, we tried this before. We tried Pebbles more access in the same team. Snowman. So dominant, dude. Oh, it's good. So strong. We just, yeah, we sent Pebbles to the guaranteed farm lane for sure. And we sent more access to hard lane with, uh, support. And no matter what, we always come out ahead. Because uh, Pebbles, once he gets a blink dagger, he just get a couple of kills. We take a couple of towers, more access gets his blink dagger. And the best part is people are like, oh, more access to uh, uh, Pebbles. Or uh, we'll overkill and ganking. Lol, lol, lol. They're just going to blink the same target kill. And then, oh, they're going to lose the game. No. You just split up. The gankers, mm -hmm. one the pebbles can gank with one support. That's it. MRX is gank with one support. They don't have to gank together. And that's the best part of it. They were full map control all over the whole bloody map with an early jump pickup and with uh, early tower goal. That's what ETDM did before, and it was retarded good. Hmm. You never give pebbles MRX on the same team. But it looks like Orange Esports don't know about the strat. TDM yeah. MRX pebble strat. I don't know. I mean, we'll see what they do. They're obviously putting a lot of thought into it. Um. I don't know. I mean, Maraxxus Bubbles might not be a bad way to go here. Still, having that Infora on the board always makes me... Exactly. The Pebbles, I was thinking of that, too. Yeah. Like, that's so cheesy. It's so They good. pick up Glacius. Twice pick up against Ophelia. I think that was the goal to support. Huh? Glacius, Ophelia. I don't know about Luna, because Luna... Infora is on the board, and Infora Pebbles. We all know what Infora Pebbles is capable of doing. Capable of doing. Yeah, that's... <laughs> eh. So, Aluna, I mean, maybe this Aluna pick here is just sort of a snipe so that TT Esports can't have her, more so than a really just she's going to fit into our lineup well. No, I mean, I still can't believe Maraxxus is, is on the board. I mean, if TT Esports doesn't pick him up in this wave of picks here, I mean, if this isn't Maraxxus Bubbles, I'm going to be pretty surprised. 
I think to be honest, it's gonna be yeah, it's gonna work this bubble. And then they're gonna last pick nymph. Oh, okay. Or they might just leave their suicide uh leave the options open in this pick nymph Moraxis right here. A nymph bubbles right now. They Not could hope Moraxis. for a, a nymph Moraxis and then uh save for Hag as well. Right now they're Nymphora. My god, this can be so they should even go for Andromeda. I like this lo this logic from TG's but they, mm -hmm. they live Andromeda. <sighs> Because Sukubus is just a, a, a pick. Sukubus is just a pick, just because they want to try it out in a real match. Because they already up one game. Uh -huh. Many teams do this. Oh, we already up one game. Game like, game two, let's try something out in a tournament match, like something they always wanted to try out. All and right. in this case, it's Sukubus. And and Dramina, the reasoning behind that is okay. Pebbles is gonna combo someone. We, we swap them, and the whole team fight is gonna go smithereens because Pebbles out of position. Mm -hmm. Gonna kill Pebbles straight away. We're gonna save a hard carry. It's gonna be perfect position, and then we're gonna win the team fight. That's the reasoning behind picking Andromeda. Yeah. So I mean, my thought though is, what are they gonna do with Succubus? Is she? I probably just solo mid here. Is that the? Uh, how does she? I mean, I don't think I've ever seen Succubus in a in a game like this. So I mean, what can we expect to see from her in laning item builds? I mean, what what are the problems with Succubus? Why we don't see her all the time? Uh, no damage, man. No. No team fight damage. Just CC. Yeah. Think about it, if I was a mid hero, if I was Polywalk, I have the same amount of CC and I do have a crazy amount of damage burst from Jolt, Polywalk, Wards, pushing potentials. Uh, Succubus has no pushing potential, uh, no shoving. In case you don't know what shoving is, it's the term League of Legends players use and I use. When you push the lane, and you just push the lane and then you just push the lane and then the creeps come and you push the lane. And as a mid hero, if it's push the lane before the rune spawns, then you, then you can go for the rune uncontested, you know? And Succubus is a weak in that aspect. That he can shuffle lanes. And also in this game, uh, it's not a 1v1 solo mid. When 1v1, you noob, I'm gonna pick Succubus. And like, it's like, uh, you can dual lane middle against Suku, and Suku is weak against that. Yeah. So the uh, last picks for Orange gonna come out here. It is gonna be Wild Soul Flux, of course. Uh, there's some, some lag about here. So it is gonna be Flux Wild Soul for those last two Orange picks. And Hag intended to be the last pick uh, for WTF, though he did get randomed Pharaoh. So. Interesting rosters, and I, you know, I, I like the Hag pick, but I, I'm sort of shocked that Bubbles is left on the board when it's all said and done. I'll play next three. <laughs> <laughs> what else is he doing, man? Oh man. So, but what do you think about this Legion roster? I mean, how do you feel about Wild Soul and uh, Flux as the last two picks? Sort of um, coming out of left field there, it feels like. Uh, if you think about it, all of Hellborn's heroes all require positioning. Zuku, Andromeda, Pharaoh, and Flux kind of screws up positioning. I like it. Really like it. Yeah, I, 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 I can't remember. Are you are you a fan of Flux, or do you not like Flux so much? T T TDM is not one that runs Flux too frequently, so... Oh, I've been trying to convince them. Like, yo, give me Flux middle, man. Come on, man. And they don't believe me. <laughs> they really don't believe in Flux. They they don't think it does enough damage. But well, one day I'll convince them. They don't. They don't believe in the Moon Meander Flux. That's heresy. I know. Yes. Oh, they they like they they say the reasoning behind that is that uh, that's risky. I agree. It is risky. Yeah. And it's really situational. So this is like, oh, well, it's situational. We don't really need to practice it. It's grim. We don't. We we throw it as a wild card one day. <laughs> yeah, one of these days it's a lot. Flux has always been a wild card kind of hero. Like no one expects it, no one picks, it, no one bans it, and then then they open this pick, like a four fifth pick, like randomly. Yeah. Usually combo with engineer though. Well, what do you think about um, the the suicide lane flux that TT Esports is doing with my nuts uh, at DreamHack? Uh, I mean, it seemed to work okay for them, but I don't know. Flux doesn't strike me as a good suicide lane hero. But what do I know? He he is a man. The reason why they put him suicide and he did okay was because uh, his team pretty much carried him. One of the, one of the other two lanes where he didn't feed as much, to be honest, mm -hmm. to be frank. Yeah, it, it seemed like pretty much every game he either broke even or struggled a lot. I, I don't know. It just, I feel like he doesn't no fit dominance, that role. Right? Right. The, the no dominance, right? No dominance coming up. But... Huh? It's like you never see the flux that go blap bath or whatever it is, right? No. Yeah. I haven't either. 
I mean, one good thing about Flux and Suicide Lane is that he's a, a little bit immune to the burst from, like, a really, really... He's really powerful against... If they go, like, Magmus Pyromancer in the short lane, they can't really kill him that easily. So that is one good thing, but there are, like, a whole bunch of other really good heroes that can do that also that don't suck in lane nearly as much. I really like Flux, though, in this game. Yeah, he's cute. He's I like that his one but hand is a cannon. Flux also. also just strikes me as no damage coming out from me. Don't you think so? Like, what's gonna, where's the damage, man? Where's the damage gonna come from? This is what I think. I think Halbron's gonna have an easy game because Legion team doesn't really have damage whatsoever. Flux also isn't gonna do much. Yeah. Facia so, supporting isn't going to do much auto attack either. Just to reiterate, guys, the, the the two picks that were randoms were not meant to be picks. The the Deadwood was meant to be a flux. If if you look in chat, when you ever see a random hero in a competitive game, that usually means someone's either really really slow or they're lagging and they're going to remake the game. Just FYI, there. I will bet my life that there will be a flux on Orange Esports when we get into this game. Anybody? Anybody? Takers? Wanna go all in I will here? bet my life that Al was playing Diablo 3 in this one. Bet my life that Al was playing Diablo 3. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. He's the FK. He's it's not the FK, man. He's on down. He's coming. He's just tapped out playing Diablo 3. No he's like addicted to that game. No doubt. Hard addiction. I haven't played Diablo 3 in a while, man. It's it's I'm, I I threw in the towel. Throwing in the towel. Um, David, you gotta sit. Oh yeah, I'm really bad at that. <laughs> I never select games. Ever. Aww. Stop playing them, I'm saying. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was some pretty serious fail right there. <laughs> we'll just auto-balance these guys real quick. Alright, we're gonna get a good even game going on. <laughs> um... Where is Trent? Master Slicks. I call. I, I think that he's our player, not a drafter. Not playing anything. He just outplays every team he plays. To be honest, that guy knows the game so much because he plays it so much. He just outplays every. Like look at the last game. Yeah. Game one, perfect example. I think they they will they all pick Hellborn. They they got all picked by Hellborn. Like the team five at home was way stronger. Uh, they tried to initiate on them when they had five heroes in like proper like thing, and then they lost. And he just he just just played it well and just outplayed the shit out of them. Holy Christ, man! That was like some outplaying going on. So I think that that's one of the strong points of TDs. Moon, what what is going on in right? chat right now? Like, what is this? What's that? I'm not reading the chat. What is uh, it's like a oh my god! Liking. It's it's a it's a, like a new meme kind of thing. What uh, they do is they one person write a whole page of essay and everyone just copy and pastes it. Oh, that's so sweet. You have such loyal fans. I'm so jelly. <laughs> Are you sure? Are you jelly? <laughs> I'm a little bit jelly. It's it's not too often that oh. people send me messages about having orgasms when they hear me. I mean that's that's pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> 1.4k viewers for Karina Hunt. Dang. Uh, Alright, let's get on this game. Okay, deal. Okay, so here we are, guys. These are the final rosters as we were talking about. Indeed, it was not Deadwood or Pharaoh. Flux and Hag were meant to be those last picks. So, what do you make of the lineups? Overall, you were talking about Orange Esports team having kind of uh, a lack in the damage output. And put, and I would tend to agree. They're pretty... I mean, I, I don't know simple. what to call Flux. In my mind, I want to call him a support, even though he isn't. I don't... What, what do you call Flux, Moon? If you were to put him into a ca classification of uh, heroes, what would you say? Flux utility. He's what? Utility. Oh, utility. There you go. So, alright, they've got two supports. Utility, Wild Soul, probably going to be uh, the big-time pusher, the, the, the pooba of pushing. 
So, I don't know. I, I definitely oh, agree shit. with you. It makes me a little bit nervous with their damage output. And then even also the carry potential. You know, we see Silhouette here in the hands of WTF yet again, who carried very, very well in Game 1. Who's going to out-carry him on this Legion team? Uh, that's a question that uh, also, I'm trouble answering. Also, well sold. Well sold. But, uh, yeah, but the damage up of the Legion team, if I was on a Hellboy team, if I had a Vestments and Steam Boots and a 1k life with a Vestments, it's going to be really hard to drop me. Mm -hmm. You know? Don't you think so? Like, pretty much just all in Pebbles this game. And I think it's going to be a early game 2k goal advantage and most 3k for the Legion team, and then TDG's voice is going to smash them after that. Yeah. I, I very well could see that happening. I mean, just looking at the damage output on the Hellborn side, that's not something they're lacking in at all. And even Succubus, you know, you talked about her lack of teamfight presence, but her single target DPS is pretty good early on. So we'll see what she can do. And, of course, that Smitten can be a very powerful tool. Not to be underestimated. Try lane bottom for Pebbles. With, while Soul Suicide, this is not the one to do. <laughs> Alright, Moon. So, oh those of us that don't play Dota 2 on the reg, break it down, lay it on me. Is this a good choice? Watch, is... It's crazy, because I've never seen anyone that in the hunt. I wish someone would do it. I'm telling my team to do this a million times. Like, dude, it's so strong on Dota 2. It's the exact same mechanic. Why doesn't, why doesn't anyone do it? Boo Boo just pulls the creeps to his tower, and pretty much the. Uh, uh, denies a lot of CS and WTF. Like, look at the silhouette. There's no way in hell possible he's gonna get all four CS in the tower, right? Mm -hmm. He's gonna deny farm. He's gonna, and not only that, also he's gonna get full EXP and uh, on, on on top lane. That's mm -hmm. so strong. Don't you think that's just like the strongest anti carry strategy in the world? Look at look at my Heliba and silhouette. He's forced to tank creeps because uh, <laughs> yeah, he's forced to tank creeps. And look at that, now, and the bear is just tanking creeps as well compared to Andromeda tanking creeps, and he's gonna deny the lane too. Wow. Look at that. Look. So much from denied for the carry. I tell you, this is a Dota 2 strat, I love it. Why doesn't anyone in Han do it, and this is the first time Orange does it. Wow, that's pretty incredible. I've been telling my team to do it for the longest time, like, come like, come on, man, please. Like, please just try it one. Like, once. Look at this Wild Soul, he's just gonna pull the creeps here, he's gonna be able to get every single last hit very easily with this bear. That is incredible. I am loving this Thanks. so far. Wow. And look at the TF, only 2 CS. Did I so much farm from the Hellborn team. Wow. And that on top of that, I mean, look how much damage uh, Andromeda's taken. No one has even touched Andromeda, and she's had to burn all of her tangos, and she's still sitting at half health. So that's pretty powerful as well. Boo Boo is a much better tank than... Uh, uh, and, and look, Silhouette cannot land against Walso too, because it's the bear plus Walso hitting him. Wow. So it's forced to, forced to put a, uh, see, look, he can't land, like, look, Silhouette can't land against him. So strong, man. So wow. I say, Walso suicide, so strong. Drop doesn't believe me, like, yeah, yeah, it's strong, but uh, we run it sometime. Never runs it, never runs it. Tell him the time, I'm like, I'll do it, man. No one wants to do it, I'll, I'll bloody do it. Wins games, man. Yeah, this okay. is pretty impressive. So my, my next thought, though, is how does TT Esports react to this? You know, what's the right response? Do they just sack this lane and let Wild Soul free farm? Do they rotate and set up kind of a tri-lane thing? Do they get Ophelia support? I mean, what's what's the golden ticket to curb this? Because In they Dota are... 2, the golden ticket to curb this is pretty much laying another jungler against him, like uh, Nature's Prophet or uh, Darkseer is the main anti Wild Soul lane. Darkseer was Wild Soul. Oh, okay. But there's no ducks here in this game. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that's great, but um, <laughs> we don't have anything close to a dark seer. So wow. All right. Well, top lane, of course, going in favor of uh, Wild Soul XXF up here. We're actually gonna see WTF uh, get a couple of creep kills here, perhaps, but um, yeah, still not farming nearly where he would like to be. In the mid lane, we do have Flux Aluna facing off against Succubus, and Slick's actually the one playing Succubus. So. Um, should be interesting as well. Slick's farming very nicely, actually leading the way for the Hellborn side. But in the bottom lane, the Suicide Wretched Hag really not faring so well against this Pebbles. Wang Wang sitting at 320 GPM, and he's got 20 CS already. So, I don't know, this Pebbles, we talked about how he's going to have to have a driving role in this game, and I think he is going to do just that. I mean, he is off to a great start, and they might even be able to pick up a kill on the Hag here to start things off. There's the Chuck, and down she goes. Wang Wang going to pick up the Bloodlust, so now he is going to skyrocket and farm. 
not only for picking up that Bloodlust Gold, but also going to get uh, even more time to free farm down here in this static lane. I don't know, man. RNG Esports off to a hell of a start. But like you said, it's a matter of uh, maintaining that lead. That's really going to be the issue. It's just all well, so dude. Also level 3 suicide with more GPM. Three times the GPM of hack. Three and a half times the you know, hack. Yeah. <laughs> That's all the wild soul right now. Also, this makes me want to play wild soul, man. I play wild soul actually quite a bit. In lane wild soul, pretty good, pretty imba. So, how does this change the item build scenario for wild soul? Because uh, kind of the most popular build is to see him in the jungle, see him solo farm forever until he gets that mock of brilliance, and then the pushing power is just unreal. Can we should we kind of expect him to do the same sort of thing here? Just he's farming in lane instead in the jungle, or is this going to change up his item build as well? Hmm. I didn't really hear that question. I was kind of like okay. distracted by. Like, all right, all right, ADD <laughs> Mander. Okay, so <laughs> normally we see Wild Soul in the jungle farming up his Maka Brilliance. Is he gonna do that? Yeah. In this game as well, or because he is in lane, is that gonna change his items? Uh, to be honest, the preference kind of thing. If usually what I do if I was suicide, I would just go uh, stuff like Bulwark and. Uh, Play the Greaves because the way I look at it is the moment when they leave top and I'm suicide, I'm gonna take that top tower. I'm gonna force them to come top so they can leave the lane, you know? I'm gonna put so much pressure on them that they will have to force to stay here. And uh, we'll work and play the Greaves to just that. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, certainly a good point. And in the top lane, Wild Soul almost getting taken out, but he's gonna be able to survive and actually do a nice bit of damage in return. Nicely done by Wild Soul, surviving a 3v1 gank. So a lot of resources being dumped in this top lane for the Hellborn side, and still they're not really coming out too far ahead. WTF finally starting to pick up a little bit of farm, but like you were saying before, just comparing the suicide lanes, Wild Soul is in a fantastic position. Slick's in a good shape in good shape here in the mid lane as well, getting close to uh, trying to make it rain all over Shuyu here. He is level six, looking for that opportunity to drop the mesmerize heartache or uh, pardon me, the succubus hold uh, heartache combo, but. I don't think he has quite enough damage to take out the tanky flux yet. Oh, oh, no, I'm just gonna put him to sleep. Yeah, flux, man, I, I can't, can't underestimate his tankiness early on, especially with the bracer. He's got almost a thousand HP already. And how one team is pushing top tower, Legion team responds and pushes bottom tower. Mm -hmm. Yep, top tower gonna fall first, but uh, with Wild Soul down here, they should be able to take this one out pretty quickly as well. We'll see what Orange does, if they're gonna opt to port back and try and do a defense deny, or if they're gonna keep pushing, and it looks like they're just gonna go for the tower race and go straight for the tier two. It may be a TTES that has to make it happen. In the mid lane, my apologies, I did miss Slicks taking down Shuyu. Looks like he just dropped the entire rotation, as well as all of his bottle charges. So Slicks gonna pull ahead here in the mid lane as the tower pushing continues. Legion team gonna go straight for the tier two tower. And they're not going to win this tier 2 tower race. We may see TT Esports take out the second tier and then port back for the deny. And, uh, well, no, maybe not. I uh, see no homecoming stones. So, yeah, this both is teams a Dota game, man. Tier <laughs> no one has no, a homecoming serious. stone in this game. What the hell's going on? What are we watching here? <laughs> this, is, this is Dota, Strat. This what is, they do is they trade towers with towers. This, this when is they Dota push Dota up trade like towers that, without you, ports? You, you the bottom, yeah. Dota 2, you immediately rotate bottom, you take the bottom two, uh, you trade tower, tower, like straight away, like you're pushing top, rotate bottom straight away, suicide, while also rotate bottom immediately, takes two towers. This is straight out of a Dota 2 playbook, what the hell? Yeah, what Guys, the hell? what Dota 3 plays, guarantee you. <laughs> Never see this in Han, do you? No, you really this don't, is, uh, this is crazy. I know, because I watched Dota 2. We TDM, we, we use Dota 2 strats as well. Yep. In the mid lane, I would say strat. Slicks get comboed Play down, Wang Wang gonna pick up the kill. Nice ultimate from Shuyu to make it happen. So Wang Wang, man, he is getting out of control. Pebble's getting close to 500 GPM now, only eight minutes in. Gonna be able to bottle up an invisibility rune, and he's gonna be looking to make it rain all over somebody's face here. Of course, it was warded, so TT Esports should be wise to the invisible pebbles. And actually, Aluna gonna be the one to take the invisibility, so she's gonna roll about here and try and uh, set something up, perhaps, while we see Pebble's just gonna rotate to the top lane. And a lot of farming room here for Wang Wang, so I don't see that uh, huge farm he's picked up decreasing in the near future. Mm -hmm. 
And also, Moon, looks like you made a good call about this uh, Wild Soul build. He's rotated to the jungle, but does have a ring mail. So whether he goes straight for Bulwark or straight for Plated Greaves, and that answers my question. I'm going to go straight for Bulwark here, but obviously going a uh, very push-intensive strategy as we see some more action in the mid lane. Galacia's going to go down. That heartache from Slick's just a little bit too much. So what do you make of Succubus Luna. here? I mean, Slicks is kind of winning this mid lane, and one thing that we didn't touch on, he Succubus has really solid rune control. That Mesmerize, you just throw it on somebody, and six seconds to get a head start to get the rune. I think Slicks has gotten at least two of the runes so far. You didn't get the Invis, obviously, but pretty solid rune control from Succubus. That is one positive. Pretty bad example of this game. You imagine if that was a Polywalk middle. All I would do is just spam Joe on the lane, you go for a rune, sleep me, you go for a rune, so what? You're gonna lose lose on EXP, you're gonna lose on 2 3 creeps of EXP because I'm shoving the lane. Wait, you can't do anything to counter push, you have to stay in lane and take the 3 creeps, so I'll go and grab your rune real quick. Mm -hmm. And if you go grab the rune, you're gonna lose on EXP. And I'm like, whatever, I'm just gonna bury myself 2 clarity potions and do the exact same thing in the next rune. I'll be level 6, you'll be level 5, and I'm gonna kill you. Alright, point well taken. Polywog Priest is much more viable than Succubus, I got you, but oh, Philia gonna walk into the danger zone here. That is unfortunate. <laughs> no wards here for the Hellborn side. Absolutely no clue where they were. But Talibur gonna walk into the Pain Train Moon. Wang Wang now 3-0, and only 10 minutes in. Choo-choo. Choo-choo. Yeah, pretty much. Pain Train, man. It's coming. Watch out. 10-minute uh, Blink Dagger. God, this is why... Yeah, 10-minute Blink Dagger. Two towers taken. 10-minute Blink Dagger. Hellborn sees this rises. Ward sees that. And they know. Hellborn has a portal key. Ladies and gentlemen, and Slick says have investments. Just oh, become yep. real careful. Oh, there's the oh. ultimate from Flux. Pebble's gonna go oh, in, actually oh. gonna miss the combo because Flux did a double pull. Oh my god, they weren't ready for it. Slick's gonna be able to heal up and they actually turn it around. Wang Wang falls, Leon Black the one to pick up the kill. Glacier's gonna fall as well. And uh, Leon Black on that Wretched Hag is gonna be able to pick up a double tap. So a huge misplay from Flux right there. Yeah, that, that's not how I use a 10 minute portal key. <laughs> that is not how I use a 10 minute portal key, that is how you do not use a 10 minute portal key. Yeah, that is how you <laughs> don't do the flux pebbles combo. Uh, or if you're gonna do the double pull, the ult followed right by the magnetic surge, you gotta make sure you let your pebbles know that that's gonna be the case, because I think that would have been a perfect combo if flux didn't use the magnetic surge right there. So an example as well of how flux can be a little bit of a double edged sword, which is unfortunate. So the tower, of course, is going to fall on TT Esports. Now going to pick up some momentum, and we'll see if Pebbles can hold on to the momentum that he started with here. Of course, still very early on, does still have uh, the portal key, so so a lot of options here. And it looks like he is going to catch Andromeda. Riser going to go down. A very easy kill for Orange Esports. So that's what I'm talking about right there. Nicely done, making those easy picks. Level four Andromeda without vestments. Free kill every time. Molten Riser. Get him put away. Um, man, I can't stress how huge that was for the Legion team. They have to win this early and then they throw in a game like that. It looks like, but also, just being also now, the board. <laughs> yep. Easy tower is easy. Going Bulwark style, and uh, there it is. They're going to take out the tier 1 tower. So, 3 for 3 tower exchange already. Six towers have gone down in the first 12 minutes. Um, <gasps> yeah. Not even close to Dota 2, those all 6 towers down by 18 minutes, 0, zero score, no problem. Yeah, just <laughs> everybody rush towers and get your vanguard as quickly as possible so we can stare each other for the next 45 minutes, isn't that how Dota 2 goes? No, it's actually everyone takes uh, a lot of counter pushing for- oh, finish the middle. <laughs> yeah, Slick's gonna get initiated on this time, not gonna be lucky enough to survive as Flux did not drop that uh, double combo, so uh, you know, unfortunate, a very defensive ult from Flux right there. Don't know that that was necessary, but still playing uh, very cautiously. Hag is in the mix, so possibly could have initiated there, but uh, very defensive flux ult nonetheless. And now a very even game. TT Esports picked up some of that momentum, but it's pretty much dissipated now, and uh, we're kind of back to square one. We're curious to see where Wild Soul goes here. If he actually does go straight for those plated greaves, and if he does, I mean, as far as big items, where should we expect him to go? I mean, should we expect a mock to come out at some point in this game, or is it either rush it for first item or don't go it at all? 
I think my opinion I never go I never go mock if I go like for work. I just go ghost marches on bear for the damage so you can take towers. Mm -hmm. Play the griefs and then afterwards I just uh go S and Y. Oh, okay. Interesting. So kind of potential. Alright. Very good. On cool. I mean bear. So T the Esports gonna take out uh looks like a double stack of ancients here. Yeah. Orange actually has not been very adamant about clearing their Ancients. I haven't noticed them uh, paying much attention, but still very early on. Hopefully they start stacking and being wary of Ancient kills as well. Especially this game too. Yeah. Like, uh, Mok isn't gonna do that much against the Hellborn team. He's just gonna sleep the bear. I rather get Widen as my main guy, mm -hmm. and then just like pound the auto attacks, you know? Yep. From the uh, far end, because we have heroes like Flux to uh, and Pebbles to give me space to auto attack in and there. And look at the Hellborn team; all they have, is, they, all they can have is like a hack blink and then you know. So like with uh, S N Y and like Charge Hammer, I'll just stay back and just like those auto attacks, but it's like ching 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 zap 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 ching 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 zap zap zap. zap. <laughs> I actually Sorry. really like Charge Hammer on Wild Soul. Um, that back back in the day when I used to tear up the solo queue. That was that was actually my build. I would just rush charge or thunderclaw on wild soul. If you get fast enough, the, da the static damage that it does is like absurd burst early on. And it's actually not that bad, especially with his natural attunement in the wild. Uh, all that attack speed it synergizes quite nicely. But I'm always always sad about charged hammer because we never see it. Maybe maybe this will be the game to see a charged hammer. Oh, I've been I'm a charged hammer believer. You're a charged hammer believer. Then, then how come I never see yeah. charged hammers well, when when moon plays? Because I. Don't no longer play carry. <laughs> charge hammer, that you to, mean charge uh, hammer bubbles isn't good? <laughs> yeah. gonna, ooh, that, that thing is too OP. Oh, initiation. Uh, initiation here. Sucky is going to start things off, but they're going to get counter initiated on. TT Esports arguably overstepping their bounds a little bit. Beautifully done by Pebbles. Double tap going to come out on Slicks and with Talibur to start things off. Nice hag from or nice ult from Hag to uh, follow up there. See, kind of everybody on the lead side those, is low, but. Those are huh? Say again? All right. Spill tornadoes from the Voucher Lords raping the whole Hellborn team right there. <laughs> Do you see that? Yeah, that's where all their health went. I mean, what the team fight. No, but that was really nice. You see what happened? Flux blink out. Wait, was it blink out? Yeah, yeah, blink out the Hellboard blink combo on the same spot. That was like the team work, man. Yeah, that was beautiful right there. I mean, it was a good thought from Slicks to catch that initiation on the, on the Glacius, but the reaction was just there from this Legion side. Uh, it makes me wonder, I mean, maybe TT Esports missed that Flux had actually picked up that portal key, because we would have thought that, I mean, they know Pebbles has his portal key, so they have a lane ward down, or, a, well, a, oh no, pardon me, they don't have anything down here, so, kind of initiating blind there, I don't know, that, that was a risky play, and obviously e TT Esports kind of paid the ultimate price there for a 2 for nil exchange. Oh, and I like the warding by Mr. Ghost. Two yeah. counter wards there to make sure that when they team fight there, they have no the TTC sports has no vision on them. Really nice uh, yeah. counter warding there. Exactly. Yeah, and that's why at first I thought those were TTE sports wards, and I was like, oh right, yeah, those are Legion wards. So that's very unfortunate. Actually, you're gonna see Riser throw down a ward right next to the Rev here. That's really unfortunate as well. They have a full duration ward, it's gonna get taken out. So again, to credit Fresh, Mr. Man. Ghost, nicely done. Fresh ward, hashtag swag. Fresh ward. <laughs> so well, fresh. 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 Fresh pro. Fresh pro. Oh, fresh pro. I asked him to do a breakdown with me, and he said no. That's the first time I've ever been rejected for a breakdown, Moon. That really hurts. Really? It does hurt. Anyway, Silhouette here getting close to his... Um, Nullstone, just a couple gold off that recipe now. So as we've talked about a couple times already, Nullstone, uh, well, quite the valuable item on Mr. Silhouette. We'll see that farm start to skyrocket a little bit. Though looking at the GPM charts, Pebbles has kind of fallen off a little bit. WTF as well as Wang Wang, they're blow for blow right now, both teetering below that 400 GPM mark. And here we go, TT Esports with a Congor attempt. The Moon Meander, this is a risky play right here. Uh, they respawn like, okay, uh, they're gonna take a top tower, we're gonna respawn. We can't defight them right now, so we're gonna respawn for Congo. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take, so we're gonna win the next, we're gonna win the next team fight for sure. Yeah, and well, I nice like it. warding, nice warding from TT Esports. They knew that there weren't any wards about, and yeah, it's, it's gonna be a very easy Congo kill. Of course, Ophelia does make it a little bit easier to take out those early Congors, but very nicely done. So Silhouette gonna be able to pick up Nullstone and a token almost simultaneously here. 
And we'll see how TD Esports reacts. They may move to the top lane as their tier 2 tower is taking a lot of pressure. Still very few homecoming stones sitting in the inventories, but they're slowly going to migrate their way up here. Oh trying to make something happen. Not worth it, man. So, why was it also top with them? If it also was top with them, the tower would have been like smashed to smithereens. That would have been two towers for Congo. That wouldn't have been worth it. Yeah. But nope, also was middle instead of top. They could have been way more ahead than they yeah. should have been. Especially because he has the bulwark. I mean, that's really... That does pose an interesting question. What you think in Wild Soul? He's going for Mock now for sure. Look, it's a goal saved up. Yeah, sitting with about 3k. So, I mean, what do you think about that choice? Is it just truly to uh, to each his own kind of a thing? Or is that a little bit of a misplay? Uh, I don't think it's a misplay, actually. The reason why I don't get mocks, I don't really think I can farm it. But in this case, he's getting a lot of free farm. Mm -hmm. Uncontested, like, leech, like, how one team normal like, let's kill but also, uh, no. No, no, let's, let's just, like, not bet him. That's the consensus. Mm -hmm. And if, if they're not gonna buy me, of course I'm gonna buy a bloody mock. The item is so good in that hero, that's definitely not a misplay. Yeah. In fact, I think that's a really good, uh, the risk taken by him, and a really good risk, in fact. Right. Commendable. Yeah, that's a, a good way to put it. A very reasonable risk to take, and so far it's paying off. Like you said, they've really let him pretty much do whatever he wants in this game. I mean, Wild Soul is 0-0-3, so he's yet to go down, and of course, able to pick up a couple of those assists. But wow, look at WTF. Talk about static farming, man. He is 0-0-0 with over 100 creep kills, so he has just been doing his own thing, putting it down in the jungle, farming those lanes. <laughs> And he has made quite the recovery from that kind of rocky early game. Well, I shouldn't say rocky early game, but slow early game start. As he's now leading the way in farm. He's slowly surpassing bubbles now that he has that null stone. You see that farm really increasing. So or pebbles rather. I think he said bubbles. Um, so we'll see. I would have liked his pebbles to maybe be a little bit more aggressive. I mean he is five one and two, but given their lack of carry potential, I would have thought uh, Wang Wang would be looking for any opportunity possible, of course, now he does have that invisibility rune on, and uh-oh, uh-oh, Riser on Andromeda may wander into the death trap here. Watch out, Yugi, you're about to activate a trap card. Look at the young black side, I told you, man, like, 1.2k, Oreo Hex, best man's grave lock as team boots, power supply, so tanky. Yeah, wow. That's all how one team needs to do, all of them has best man's, look at Slicks, best man's Oreo Hex. Mm -hmm. Look at uh, Ophelia, uh, bolstering armband, uh, mystic vestments, astrolabe. They know, they know that if they survive the jump, this game, they're gonna win the game. Yep, absolutely. So, uh, oh, I thought Slicks was getting engaged on for a second. Um, so yeah, I mean, Wild Soul has now picked up his sort of the high. So Boo Boo is hitting pretty damn hard. You know, he's about. 700 gold or so off of the mock recipe, so that is good news. I mean, Orange Esports may be able to start picking up a little bit more momentum here. I mean, they are still way ahead in hero kills, but, um, you know, falling behind in that experience, and I think they're just not getting the better of the map farm. Still totally ignoring the Ancients here. I think this has been, like, the same Ancient spawn of Predators for this whole game, practically. So I'm not really sure why they're ignoring their Ancients. Even with Wild Soul, I mean, he can easily clear this with Boo Boo. Kind of surprising. Yeah, but I mean, Flux isn't really a farmer kind of hero. It's only just pebbles and well, so so I don't like the. Uh, I don't know. If you're gonna do that, at least do it if it's super hard to carry. You know, like Dark Lady or something like that. It's not good to go all in on the pebbles. Well, so yeah, compared to a silhouette hag and with an Andromeda on late game secured. So, they need to take advantage of the fact that they have way more towers than the UG team. But I guess they're playing it safe, they know they have one that's a token. Mm -hmm. And they're just going to wait the token out 2-3 minutes. Yeah. And then after the token's gone, they're going to push in again. That's what their strat they're thinking is, probably. So I'm thinking is at least. Only 2 and a half and minutes as you stay, though, the they kill the Predators. Oh. Oh, there we go. XXF going to step up. So it looks like Pebbles Wait, are... hard boys country. Uh-huh. Uh, well, Pebbles Going has an Arcana, and I was going to say Spell Shards? No, Hellfire. <laughs> no, Hellfire. I saw you I pick up know, Spell Shards on Electrician once, and ever since then I've had faith that Spell Shards are going to make a comeback at some point. This could be that game. <laughs> we, were, we were like 30k gold up, and I can't think of a game like that. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you remember exactly what I'm talking about. This was like six months ago. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh god. I mean, what, how are spell shards? I mean, is it is it literally like kind of a useless item? Like it's just not worth it ever unless you're already like the game's won. Is is there a chance of ever picking up spell shards in a viable situation? It's a pub game. It's a pub. It's a pub item, man. It's a pub item. What, it's what's the pub so bad about it? Just not enough minus magic armor to make it worth it. Just that you're spending 4.7k gold spell shards, which you could probably spend buying a half level and locking the hero down and killing him. I see. I see. Uh, pub games works really well because they like pub games, you know. The, they especially when you play Magnus, they, they really like to clump up five people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's pretty easy. And uh, yeah. And an example of another pub item which we don't really see too often is Assassin Shroud. Assassin Shroud. Last time I saw a Carry Pebbles, I saw a Genjuro, so I don't know. I mean, this could be a game where we see Carry Pebbles come out. Hellflower into uh, Demonic, into Shieldbreaker, into Genjuro, into Rift Shards. Sounds good. No, no, no. no way, man. No. <laughs> <laughs> so Pebbles they're has trying to use the token there. Huh? 40 seconds of token. Oh, so they're like, okay, we gotta burn the token, man. 40 seconds of token, we have to do something. Yeah. So they're like, they're trying to suicide uh, WTF and bait him right now with token, with him having a token. Yeah, Slick's here pausing for the quick strat session. Guys, how are we gonna use this token? Um, but uh, Pebbles has now finished up his uh, health flower. The last piece is on the way via the courier, so it will be here momentarily, probably not in time to shut down this uh, um, silhouette before the tokens burn, but. Only 15 seconds left. I think they're just gonna have to let it ex let it expire, unfortunately. Get to some initiation here. Freeze gonna come onto the Vulture Lord. As you see, Boo Boo tanking it up. There's that Flux ulti, the Portal Key combo, and they're gonna start things off with a kill onto Slicks. Very nicely executed. And Orange Esports not gonna overstep. They're just gonna head back nice and defensively here, take their one kill and run. Although now that they see TD Esports is on the defensive. They're going to try and get a bit more aggressive here as well. Flux going to hop forward. He's going to be able to catch Ophelia. I don't know if WTF is going to, or with Taliba, pardon me, going to be able to survive. A nice swap from Andromeda. Going to be the sacrificial lamb here. Still some uh, opportunity for Taliba to survive, but nope. Going to get caught by the Slagmites as well as the Chuck. And down she goes. So very nicely executed from Orange Esports. Three for nil exchange. Very, very nicely done. That was just perfect. That was, that's all, all Flux, man. Utility so strong. Straight, the moment we hit R, Pebbles blink health shard for six could even be his drunken head. That was just off left, man. I don't know why they're going for a tower here. Maybe they might be able to take it. I don't know. Kind of risky. Yeah. Really risky. I mean, Boo Boo really is risky. pretty hard here, but it is definitely risky. And there's Succubus gonna come in, gonna drop the ultimate onto Wild Soul, but Slick's gonna get taken out perhaps. Uh, I think he is gonna fall down. He goes Wagwan gonna be able to pick up the kill. Another great bat blast coming out from Hag. Are they gonna be able to follow up and pick up a few kills here? It actually doesn't look like it. The Astrolabe gonna be used to top it, well, not top everybody off, but pick him up a little bit. And uh, that's it. So no follow-up gonna come. Slick's getting a bit too aggressive, I think. And uh, well, there's gonna be the silhouette illusion. That was the Slick's misplay right there. He ulted the well, so and he didn't trunk and head. Yeah. That's just a misplay. It's off. Like if he shrunk and head and ulted the wall, so that would be pretty, pretty big, really big. <laughs> well, yeah, more team, but he didn't. No, it's paying the price. Yeah, that's uh, peculiar. I don't know. So, Moon, your, uh, your your prediction not quite coming true here, though. You said maybe 2k, 3k gold lead at most. We're now up to about 6k here, and the ball's still rolling for Orange. Is TT Esports still in this game? Do they have a chance to turn it around? Will the amazing WTF start carrying hard enough to overtake this? I think it's just because uh, um, every time they try to fight, like just to play too aggressive and gets caught out straight away. Mm -hmm. If he stayed a little far back, you know, be pretty simple. Like, why would he just be sitting there? Why is WTF playing so passive when he's so fast? All he has to do is just hit the hit the tower and have an illusion behind him. Even if they jump him the moment he spawns, he can just hit R and go back to the illusion. Mm -hmm. But instead, they played it with Slick stood in front because WTF was backing out. And they shouldn't have done that. They should have just like 40 seconds of token balls to the wall play with WTF is what he should have done. Yeah, I, I think letting that token right. expire was definitely one of the bigger misplays we've seen so far in this game, at least from TTE Sports. 
WTF still, uh, he's the leading farmer in the game, though, well above 400 GPM. I mean, he's got that core set of items. He's got the portal key and nullstone, uh, uh, working towards the shrunken head. He does have the warhammer already. And he's still 0 0 and 0, so yet to be involved in uh, an opposing hero kill. So, again, just speaking to how quiet he's been as far as being involved in the action. Sort of like you were just talking about. Mark my words, though. Oh, oh, oh shrunken head used. Oh my god, did this. <laughs> so the initiation gonna happen here. Orange Esports gonna steamroll through it though. They're gonna pick up three kills to start things off. Slicks and Leon Black gonna be the only two left alive. Leon Black gonna be able to blink backwards. I'm not sure Slicks gonna be able to survive this. And ooh, not gonna get a root, but it doesn't matter. The portal keys come. And down he goes. A four for nil exchange. That happened in the blink of an eye. Moon, what happened? What was the fatal misstep for TD Esports there? A slick sweet is struck in the head, and then do it all in for the pebbles. I'll teach his illusion. The WTF, uh, basically, WTF Andromeda and Ophelia got raided by a flux pebbles, because the Andromeda didn't was in a position to swap any of them out, and then uh, WTF was overstepping his boundaries. Ophelia wasn't there to use his mech or ulti because he was caught in the pebbles combo and it got smashed. Yeah. That was incredible. Oh, so that's going to really be it. Nice. GG well played to come out. TT Esports is going to tap out. You know what that means, Moon. Moving on to an ace match. Damn. Woo. Failed to retrieve match information. That was Failed. nice. So well executed by Flux Pebbles. That was perfect every single time, man. Yeah. Every single Flux Pebbles was perfectly executed every single time. That no mistake soul. whatsoever. That wild soul. Very, very impressive indeed. So sit tight, guys. Game number three going to be coming up to wrap up the grand finals here of the Grand Pooba. I'm Sayori. With me is Moon Meander. And... Um...